I'd like to start today's episode by wishing all of the high school and college grads congratulations on graduating from school and embarking on the next step in your life's journey. It's a wonderful world out there, and whether you're going to be pursuing a college degree or other venture, you may find yourself in the market for a new laptop. And in regards to that, I'll be showcasing the laptop my cousin got as a graduation gift, the Dell Inspiron 13. What's going on guys? Andrew here with another episode of East Coast Tech. And do I have a laptop review for you? The Dell Inspiron 13. This guy's part of the 7000 series of two-in-one laptops. So there's laptop mode and then there's tablet mode. So our exact SKU includes a 13.3 inch 1080p IPS panel, an Intel Core i3 6100U, eight gigs of DDR4 memory, and a 128 gigabyte SSD. It comes with the other standard laptop bells and whistles, Windows 10, AC Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. The package came all wrapped up with $599 price tag, which in my opinion isn't terrible. I do, however, think opting for a 240 to 250 gig SSD would have been fair at this price point. Also, it's important to note that any laptop other, under a thousand bucks will not have any sort of dedicated graphics. On to aesthetics. The exterior of the chassis is coated in a matte black rubberized paint that actually does a pretty good job at not soaking up fingerprints which is quite pleasantly surprising. The build quality of the base is plastic with a faux metal look around the keyboard. And I'm pleased to see here that even on Dell's lower end SKUs, they still bring in decent quality and attention to detail. Onto the screen, we see that 13.3 inch IPS panel I was telling you about earlier. The bezels around the screen are like super thick, which personally turns me off, but it makes sense for the tablet capability. Finishing up on the outside of the laptop, we hit some rubber feet at the bottom to keep it elevated while on a desk or table. The keyboard here is standard fare. It's backlit, mostly mushy, but still responsive and stiff enough as to not interfere with typing. And the trackpad is surprisingly responsive as well. Although occasionally a bit too responsive as it tends to pick up even the most stray movements. For our IO, on the left side, we get a Kensington lock, three and a half millimeter audio jack, HDMI out, and two USB three ports. Oh, and also the charging ports over here as well. On the right side, we get power and volume buttons, as well as an additional USB 3.0 port and an SD card reader, which is really nice to see on an entry level laptop. I find that this assortment of IO is pretty decent considering the laptop itself is only 19 millimeters thick or three quarters of an inch. Overall, the laptop measures 13 inches by eight inches or 330 millimeters by 222 millimeters and weighs just under four pounds. So hiding it away in a bag should be smooth sailing. Moving on to the more creature comforts, our keyboard is backlit in white, and although it is a bit narrow, it still provides a decent typing experience. There is room on either side of the keyboard, so I'm not sure if there's something underneath preventing the keyboard from being expanded or if it was a design oversight. Um, but overall, as laptop keyboards are concerned, it's, it's not that terrible. But you know what is terrible? The 720p 30fps webcam and onboard mic. I mean, Skype calls are probably ter uh, tolerable, but I, I really wouldn't use it for anything else. All right, so that's about wraps up the business end of our laptop review. How about the fun part? With just a few motions and the flip of an unexpectedly stiff screen hinge, our laptop becomes a tablet. So business in the front, party in the back, kind of like a mullet. Two in ones are the mullet of the PC world. Yeah. Anyways, in tablet mode, it functions about how you would expect. The wide bezels around the screen that I was previously complaining about make a lot more sense while in tablet mode, since they give your thumbs a place to hold without messing around on the screen. And the 1080p resolution looks good enough for Windows Store games and watching videos. 
So as I mentioned earlier, this laptop would be a great entry level option for a new college student looking for a productivity workhorse and multimedia center. And being able to display out to a monitor leaves room for improving your experience. And the onboard speakers aren't too terrible that you couldn't situate yourself with a decent listening experience as well. Now, I'm not gonna go crack and open this thing as it belongs to my cousin, but I can confirm there is an upgradable two and a half inch SSD and the RAM itself could be upgraded to about 16 gigs of DDR4 soda memory as well. But honestly, for productivity like this laptop is designed for, you're perfectly fine with eight gigs. All in all, whether you're trekking around on campus or curling up to a good movie with some friends, the Dell Inspiron has you covered with a rated seven hours of battery life. You can currently find these at Best Buy and Amazon for around 600 bucks. And with Dell's outstanding quality, it would be sure to last. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you hated it, dislike it, get subscribed. If you want to purchase any of the products featured in this video, there will be links in the video's description. Again, this was Andrew with East Coast Tech, and I'll see you next time.